The government's announcement of reintroducing road tolls has got many talking. The general sentiments bother on the government's seeming indecisiveness on the issue. It has been barely 32 months since that decision to abandon the collection of road tolls across the country, much to the disdain of many who follow the economic issues and to the relief of many vehicle owners. Now, when the then Finance Minister Ken Furiata announced a redrawal, the government's argument was that the tolling points over the years had led to heavy vehicular traffic and lengthened travel time from one place to another, impacting negatively on time and productivity. Thus, the impact on productivity and reduced environmental pollution would more than offset the revenue for gone from removing the tolls. And the government hoped this overturn was a good ploy then to get the public to buy into the infamous e-levy tax. But what changed and why bring back tolls in 2025? But before we get into that, let's go a bit back into time. The collection of road tolls in Ghana dates back to the early 70s with the introduction of the Tolls Act 1973, NRCD 153. At the time, there were 37 toll booths across the country. Well, fast forward to 2007, the Road Fund's annual financial statement reported an amount of 1,782,059 as income from all roads in that year. A rather modest amount corroborating the wide perception of leakages at the toll stations. In 2010, tariff adjustments were made. As a result, the Accra Tema Motorway net revenues increased from 62,000 per month to 600,000 cities per month. Before this year, however, Ghana's toll rates were out of touch with the times. They were far lower than what pertained in neighboring countries. Tolls had become a major revenue generating venture across the globe and in Ghana, the main source of livelihood for some persons with disabilities who manned the facilities. And so, the announcement by the Minister of Roads and Highways directing the cessation of the collection of road and bridge tolls effective November 18, 2021, was not taken lightly. The government has abolished all tolls on public roads and bridges. <laughs> of November 2021, where the finance minister indicated that there were plans to stop the collection of tolls across the country just so we could ease traffic at these various toll booth stations and also reduce the environmental pollution that we were encountering. What happens to the many workers who manned the booths? Well, reassignment. But many months after the cessation, government's pledge to reassign workers did not actualize, leading to a myriad of protests. We've been sacked and then the toe to boot work have been dismissed. I think they're supposed to go down and then verify everything themselves. They can't just sit at their offices and then declare everything as if they are on the ground experiencing what we are going through. And to make things worse, the government tried pushing an unpopular tax policy, arguing it will substitute for the revenue obtained from toll collection. Taxes should be easy to collect. In the cost of collection, the circumstances of collection, I would say easy. And in return, you have the electronic transactions levy. And now, but I know, no, you 1.75% off. Um, Momo transaction are a bro hundred Ghana cities. Well, the government has once again made a U turn. Cabinet has also granted approval for the displacement of an additional 1.5 billion Ghana cities to provide relief and bailout for those whose funds have been locked up in the fund management companies. The establishment of a framework for the reintroduction of road and brick tools in 2025. The latest announcement by the Finance Minister, Dr. Amin Adam, has raised concerns about the effectiveness of the consultative process with regards to policies and whether or not it makes proper impact analysis into the policies it introduces. For many, the concerns are what would be the cost to put up structures for the toll collection as many of the boots since abandoned have become white elephants. But even more pressing is the question as to what will be the fate of the e-levy with the reintroduction of the road tolls.